I want to know what really grinds my gears. If I had to sum it up in one sentence, I know there's people out there that would surely disagree with what I'm saying. E-cigarettes, otherwise known as vaporizers, are not nearly as dangerous as traditional cigarettes. I'm not saying I condone the use of these products by minors, nor am I saying I condone the use of these products by people who haven't smoked a cigarette or cigar, tobacco product, etc. Or people that haven't been addicted to these products before. What I'm saying is that uh, these products are designed as a smoking cessation device, which, for those of you that don't know, they're used to quit smoking. They're used to stop your bad habit of smoking. What I'm trying to convey here is that there are people out there that somehow believe that traditional cigarettes are better for you than these devices. These people are purely uneducated, plain and simple. It's not their fault, it's simply a lack of research. As many of you fine folks know, I've used a vaporizer, or vape, to quit smoking because I simply did not see the point in smoking because I knew that I was essentially killing myself. Albeit very slowly, I mean, it's not like I was drinking bleach with every meal, but it's it's been scientifically proven that cigarettes are not exactly what I would call the healthiest things in the world for you. Um, I decided I'd start looking for ways to help me quit, as I knew that I wasn't doing myself any good by continuing down the path that I was going. However, even though that there have been numerous studies done proving that vapes are not nearly as bad for you as a traditional cigarette, 97% less harmful than tobacco smoke, to quote a study conducted by the UK Health Agency, I couldn't count how many times that I'd been on break at work, in town, etc., and I've been interrupted by people that think they know what they're talking about, coming up to me and telling me that what I'm doing is entirely wrong and that I'd be better off smoking a cigarette. One woman even had the audacity to offer me a traditional cigarette in front of my mother. Uh, the only thing that I can find to back up what these people are saying is a single study conducted during the early days of vaporizers where they were completely unheard of. This was the early concepts of them. Uh, the study was done using a sigil like vaporizer that you can buy at a gas station. You know, the disposable white ones. You puff it maybe 300 times and throw it out. Uh, I found What I found was that the device was used far past the normal operating conditions that it should be used in. Um, the way these devices work, and not just the Sega likes, any, any type of vaporizer, is using a nichrome wire coiled up into a, a spring-like shape with power fed through the coil to heat up the e-juice containing nicotine, turning it into a, a vaporized state. The study fed far too much power into the coil, pushing it far past Ohm's law, which any of you familiar with electricity should know about. It's the amount of resistance the wire can handle. Um, naturally, if you're pushing wire past its limits, there's, there's going to be bad consequences. I mean, how do you think electrical fires start? And yes, because of the uninformed general public, that has been that have been led to believe that these tests, which were aired on multiple media stations, news, etc., were conducted in normal operating conditions, which they weren't. They they've been led to believe that e-cigarettes are are terrible for you. They're they're these incredibly dangerous machines, and this is purely a falsehood in every sense of the word. After researching this study done, I decided I was going to try it myself. And I used this here. This is a rebuildable atomizer. I built this coil myself. And I fed more power than I was supposed to. Because I know Ohm's Law and I know how much resistance a certain gauge of wire should use. When I am using this, because I used this device to quit smoking. When I'm using this, I feed a normal amount of power through it. Maximum 80 watts. I decided that I was going to feed 300 watts through this coil and as you can see by the picture it uh, it failed miserably I mean <laughs> I wanted to get video footage of of me testing it myself but I'll be honest with you you can see how black it is from the picture it's supposed to look very very uh, 
like the cotton is supposed to be white because it's cotton and the coils are just supposed to look like stainless steel they're supposed to be like that shiny metal coating type of thing and it exploded i'll be honest it <laughs> it exploded and i cussed pretty loud because i thought you know my hand was going to get blown off or something like that and uh i don't think that's exactly class appropriate so i'm not going to show that footage but uh as you can see, that's definitely not under normal operating uh, conditions. And yet, somehow, this test was, was uh, legible to uh, the general public because people do not understand how much you can feed into these coils. And what I did was I fed exactly, I, I made my coil to the exact specifications of what was used in the test, and I fed exactly the same amount of power that was used in the test, and it exploded. I'll be honest, that's probably why people think they're dangerous, because they aren't, the test was used under conditions that just plain are not safe, okay? Like, this, if I didn't feel like this was safe, I would not be using it. And yet I still use it on a daily basis because it keeps me away from cigarettes and I think that's the most responsible thing that I can do at this point is to just stay away from the cigarettes. And I mean, I I wouldn't consider myself an expert in the field nor would I really consider myself the most knowledgeable person around here in the field. However, I have enough like, I've researched this, and I know that it, it's, it's completely wrong that people believe this one study that say that it is, uh, it's dangerous, because it's simply not. If it was dangerous, I mean, if it was going to explode in my face, I would have died a long time ago, because I've been using these devices for almost two years now. And, uh, just a few more statistics to just kind of kick it off, because I know the presentation's getting kind of long. It was a five-minute time, and I'm already up around six, seven minutes. I haven't added the videos together yet. I'm not sure exactly how much, but, um, there was a test conducted by the, uh, United Kingdom Health Agency... Again, this was another test. This wasn't the same test I quoted earlier. This was a different test. And it uh, it had prescribed two different groups of long-term smokers, which means 20 years plus people that have been smoking traditional cigarettes. It prescribed half of the group with uh, a vaporizer or an electronic cigarette and the other half with nicotine chewing gum, which, I mean, both of these are, are expensive to get started off on. The the vaporizer is expensive to get started. Like this for me was seventy five dollars, and this was about a hundred. So I mean, it's not cheap, but the amount of money it saves because when you consider a hundred and seventy five dollars with the growing cost of cigarettes, I mean, I was spending thirteen dollars almost every day on cigarettes. That that's ten days, and I've had that for, like I said, two years. The only cost for me is the e-liquid, or the the vape juice, as some like to call it, and that's that's thirty five dollars for a hundred milliliter bottle, and a hundred milliliter bottle can last me a month, so it's it's incredibly less expensive compared to cigarettes, but the study that that compared the vaporizers to the chewing gum, the nicotine gum, after six months, the group that was prescribed the nicotine gum, only 7.7% .7 of the people had had quit smoking altogether. Amazingly, now I, I, I wouldn't have believed this if I, if I didn't think it came from a credible source, 70% of the people that had been prescribed vaporizers had quit smoking altogether after six months. That's 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 a huge number. Like, that's almost ten times the amount of people as other smoking cessation methods. So, to me, I think. Now this might be different opinion than other people, but I believe that this is a much safer alternative to traditional cigarettes.